I'm getting ready to shell out about another $150 for an annual Zoom Pro plan and it gets me kind of wondering, is there really like a cheaper solution? Is there something better than Zoom? Well, I'm going to discuss the best free alternative to Zoom in today's video, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up? It's Dale here at Live Streaming Tech. Uh, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Restream. We're going to talk a little bit more about them a little further into this video. Stick around to the very end because I'm going to show you how to also record the video chat that you're going to be using here. Over the past year, I've used Zoom Pro and I've been pretty happy with them. I've used it for coaching clients and uh, group meetings and whatnot. And uh, you, you could have upwards of like say 100 attendees, which I've really never had that many friends to, to invite 100 attendees, but that's for another video altogether. But I, the biggest issue when it comes to Zoom, if I wanted to say scale back to their free plan, you're going to be limited. Sure, you can still have the 100 attendees, and you can also have unlimited meetings one-on-one. -on -one. That's fantastic, that's great, but let's say if you wanna have more than one person, they limit you to 40 minutes. Therein lies the problem. Is the $150 really worth investing in an annual plan on Zoom Pro? Well, it just kinda of depends. It's not gonna be a video that's going to be a beat down video on Zoom by any stretch. I just wanna kinda of give everybody a cost effective solution and something that actually I'll be using. The very first thing you can do is you can get free access to Restream when you visit our affiliate link at livestreamingtech.com slash restream. You can get yourself set up with a free or premium account, but for the sake of this video, we're talking about the free one. Now the nice thing about using Restream Studio is you can have upwards of 10 people at a time on the screen. So if you're kind of like me that you really don't have 100 friends but you have at least say 9 other friends and yourself and you'd like to meet up in one video chat, then Restream Studio is definitely going to be your solution. And here's the cool thing, you're probably confused, you're going, but no, Dale, I just, I want to have a video chat, I, I don't want to have a live stream, that's good, that's all right. You can use Restream Studio for both live broadcasts and also not live broadcasts. So you've got two options you can take advantage of here. You can go ahead and deselect all the channels if you don't want to go live, or when you go into the Restream Studio, you just don't hit the go live button. It's just that simple. So let's get behind the dashboard. I'm gonna show you exactly how you need to do this. So go ahead and log into Restream. Click enter the live studio. Click the invite guests icon below the video pane. Invite your friends up to 10, including you. So if you get 10, some person's going to be the odd man out. Uh, you're gonna have to probably leave them inside the waiting room. Guard this link because if you just like post it on social media, you're gonna have a bunch of random people jumping in there and crashing your party and you don't wanna make anything <laughs> weird, right? When guests come in, you're gonna go ahead and click the add to stream switch over inside their actual window and you'll see it on the right hand side. They'll be in a waiting room until you bring them in. So if you wanna play with them, you can always leave them on there, but I'd recommend you bring them on in. The nice thing is there is a private chat that as soon as everybody's into the stream, they can actually communicate through that private chat on the left hand side. None of the viewers, if you happen to go live broadcasting, are gonna see the private chat at all. Okay, so now it's time to play around with the layout just a little bit. You can select spotlight in a window to use the Google Hangout style. So when you hit a spotlight, it'll put somebody right in the middle and then everybody else will be in smaller panes in the bottom right hand corner. Then if you select contain, which is this little button here at the top right, it will actually get it to where it's, the videos are gonna be spread out with an underlay and you can actually select some of the underlays that Restream gives to you. It's completely up to you. Or select cover, which is right next to the contain, to use the zoom style layout and it's gonna actually get it to where it brings everybody in and kind of gets them all framed out here. Keep in mind, you can still use screen share by selecting the icon below the video. So when you select that, it'll bring the screen share in and much like what you're doing with all the other videos with everybody on there, it'll spotlight that if you wish to, or you can get it to where it condenses it down. It's completely up to you. I'm sure if you're wanting to do a screen share, you may wanna have that on the spotlight and you can always just shut that off when you're done using it. Okay, so here's the bonus I was gonna share with you is how to record the sessions. 
There's actually two ways you can do it. I'm gonna show you the free alternative. What you're gonna do is use OBS, which is Open Broadcasting System, and you can grab access at obsproject.com. You're gonna start a new scene selection. Press the plus symbol in the sources box. Add display capture. Select the display you'll be using for your video chat. This is where you'll be having your video with Restream. Press the plus symbol again. Add an audio input capture. Now you're going to want to find your microphone. In most instances, it might be default if you have, say, an onboard microphone of some sort. If you have another microphone that you're plugging in, you'll just look for that. Press the plus symbol again. Add an audio output capture. This is what you're gonna be using uh, for your headphones, what you're gonna be hearing. I would not recommend you have this on your laptop or your desktop playing through speakers because it's gonna create a lot of echo. So it's good that you just get it isolated into some headphones. So you, of course you're gonna select headphones in the drop down here. Go into settings now, select output. Click Browse under Recording and choose a file destination so you know where your recording will be when you're finished. Now you're ready to record. All you got to do is press Start Recording and when you're done, just press Stop Recording and your file should immediately be available where you put it inside one of the files there. Uh, so one and easier way to do things as far as recording those sessions, believe it or not, we actually have a dead simple way of doing it. You don't even have to have OBS. Restream does it for you. We talk about it in this very next video right here. And if you've already saw that video and you're not interested in it, YouTube says you might actually enjoy this one right on over here. So I will see you in either one of them. What you waiting for? Choose.